It's your turn, a public access program inviting community groups to air their views and serve their interests. In offering television time, Channel 56 is expressing its belief that public television belongs to you. Tonight's program will be the Don Darrow High School Filmmaking Course. I'm Dick Rockwell, instructor and originator of the Don Darrow filmmaking class. The last film you just saw was made by Pete Steeler, Paul Willard, and Dave Lucas. It won a third prize at the DAF Film, that's Detroit Area Film Teachers, held this last spring. We're happy tonight to be able to showcase eight of our fine films from Don Darrow on this program. Don Darrow's film program is funded by the Michigan Council for the Arts, is part of the National Endowment for the Arts, and part of the Artist in Residency program. We were fortunate this last spring to have a guest uh, animator, Ray Pointer, and he worked with the students and advised them on the next film you're about to see. It's a film we've titled Trains Keep Rolling to the soundtrack of Railhead Overture, and it was edited by Paul Laminen.
I'm happy to have with me tonight a number of students from the 1975-76 filmmaking class who helped produce and create some of the 31 films that were made by our class during this past year. Our next film is a film called Money. It won a second prize at the Michigan Film Forum, a program sponsored by the Detroit Area Film Teachers and Council for the Arts and the Upper Peninsula Art Teachers Association. The film stars Tom Carr and Dave Sawchuck, and it was filmed entirely by Bob Kasperwitz and then edited by all three of those fellows.
The next film, Captain Klutz vs. the Mad Bomber, is a short film of one and a half minutes that required nearly two months to complete. It was drawn, illustrated by Jim Colson with an assist from Paul Laminen, and the film won a third prize from the uh, Michigan Film F Forum held in the Upper Peninsula. A film like that takes a great deal of time to produce. It took us, I think, four hours one evening to do the soundtrack, so we're very happy when uh, it works. <laughs> Captain, uh, the next film will combine clay animation and live action. Its title is Box Shock. Special men mention should go to Elaine Hildebrand for her nimble fingers playing the piano on the soundtrack and her cle clever names in the titles. Looking forward to entering that film in some festivals this coming year. I think it'll do real well. Our next film also should 
is worthy of entry in a film festival. It's called The Man Strikes Out. It's a prophetic title for the film by Mark Curtis, Tom Maxey, and Marilyn Densmore. These three not only acted in the film, but took turns running the camera while they weren't on camera. The soundtrack in this film is quite complicated as well, as there are two distinct themes that introduce each of the main characters.
Birthday Dear, our next film, is a charming little tale by Carol Gibson. It was awarded a first place by, at the Daft Film Festival, an honorable mention at the Oakland Community College Film Festival this past year. The film stars Bob Wingate and Sue Jolin. Before we end the show with our last film, Smile, I'd like to thank the curriculum coordinator, Edith Goodrich, and English department head, Virginia Boltz, for their faith in the filmmaking program. And now, Smile. <laughs> like to participate on It's Your Turn, and you are a bona fide spokesman for an organization consisting of a membership of 25 people or more, please write, It's Your Turn, Channel 56, 441 2nd Avenue, Detroit, Michigan, 48202, or phone 873-7200. Thank you, and good night. Time.